I hear static. That's bad. I think I'm going to be going in there later. It's got one hell of an elaborate lock on it. One hit and I'm dead, guaranteed. Just as a save state. I know the save was just back there in the church, but I don't want to undo the whole confession thing. Okay. Was there anything in that room? I don't think so. I'm not going back in. Oh. Hi. Oh, there's another one. Oh, of course. I've got to try one of the other doors. Why are there numbers written on the wall? You see them? 32, 29, something, something. Thank God it opened. Right, I have a map of this place. Hmm. The other way isn't even on the map. Oh wait, I think I'm... Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, this map is originally a child's drawing, probably Alessa's, but could just be some other child that went to the chapel. And then we've scribbled on top of it with all the, the doors and whether they're openable and all that stuff. And then we've added to it for these new areas that we've been to. You can see it's written in a totally different way. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, wait. It's another page. No map here, but... Oh, there's blood hitting the ground from the ceiling. Oh. I don't like that. It's a wheelchair here, just a plain old wheelchair. Cool. St. Jennifer, Unwavering Faith Under Death's, Death's Blade. St. Alessa, Mother of God, Daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And, and I'm the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God seventeen years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Saint Nicholas, Miraculous Hands, Doctor of God. That is so cool as a save point. Belfry. Is that on the map now? Is it just a save point? It seems very important. But now where do I go? Maybe I do go to the other door. Again, it's not, there's nothing marked on the map for like where it's going to go, but it, it'll just be filled in once I go there. Mm. <laughs> I 
Thank God this one opens too. Oh, look at that shadow. The shelves are covered with file folders and boring books. Whoa. This game has depth of field? I think that's the first time I've ever seen it used. Handgun bullets, handgun bullets. Nice, I still need health though. Cassette tape. Bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. And heraldry symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. It's a lap blanket. Don't think I'll need it. I'm not cold. So what do I do with this cassette? No label, but the tab has been removed. Might be worth checking out. Um, hmm. The only thing I can think of is to go back to this room that had that big thing in it, but now that I've got all this handgun ammo, I probably can take it out. Maybe there's a cassette player in there or something. Damn it! Whoa. What the hell? Was I supposed to... No. Why is there a unique animation for that death? A unique cutscene? Weird. Creepy. Damn, that thing's stronger than they normally were. Like, remember the very first one we encountered and it, I think they took exactly 10 shots? That one took like 17? Okay, is there anything I care about in here at all? Something was written here, but it's too faint to read. The notes stuck in the board frame aren't anything either. So, this is useless. I just reloaded to it before I used all of my ammo, because I think I need to be pretty precious about my resources right now, and I think I found what to do next. I was coming into this room again where there's that crying voice, and I thought it was blood, like coming down from the ceiling and, and hitting the floor, but this time I wasn't too scared of it and I got close. It's actually bloody footprints that slowly walked over here to the painting, and... Well, it says this now. There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture, though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappeared beyond it, after all. Let's move it. Ah. Hmm. I'm gonna save it first. Oh. Hi there. Got a little crawler crawling around down there. Just don't come out. Just stay there, okay? Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Shit! Oh my god! So fast! Jesus Christ. It's just like that boss that we fought. Well, at least this place doesn't look hellish. Silent Hill's Ancient Gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has remained unchanged for the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There's also one rare example of a chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Book on tarot here. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card, numbered 0 through 21, has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, donates, uh, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today, it is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly trans, uh, transcendental existence, i.e. God. Is that what I have here? The Eye of Night tarot card? Is that one of the Beyond the 22? Sheet of paper here, but it's blank. Moon tarot card. Ugh. Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is, that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? 
You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. And, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Just a joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. Otherworld Laws. Man, Vincent is fucked up. No, we don't take... Uh, I don't take, or, nor does Heather, I'm sure, take pleasure in stomping out the life out of the monsters. I feel relief. Such a creepy joke, though, that... Oh, they look like monsters to you. Tome of the Seer. Sounds like an occult book. I don't need this now. It's not my taste anyway. These books look like real mind benders. I think I'll leave them alone for now. Still a blank sheet of paper. Alright, let's check out that book that I got. Oh, let's look at the Moon Tarot card closer too. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're looking at the book first. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viren, uh, Viren the Seventh Crest, or Seal of Metatron. Meta, Met, Metraton, Metraton. I think it was spelled differently in the subtitles. Metraton. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. This is why it bears the name M Metraton, after the angel uh, Metatron, or Metraton, also known as the Agent of God. <laughs> the description, a big old book I got from Vincent in the archives. Looks kind of bloody. Wait, so once more. Strong protective and dispelling properties, so I'm going to use this to... What exactly? I mean, obviously you stop Claudia, but... It sounded like the... I mean, okay, so uh, multiple times now, Heather has curled over in pain. And I think even Claudia said that, like, the, the demon, the god, is coming from within you, as if there's, like, another seed growing inside of her. Even though I couldn't... I 
don't see how one could have been planted inside of her, given that she was away from the cult the entire time. But it makes me think the god is going to be coming from Heather, so then would this crest be used on the god after it's birthed, or used on Heather herself, or... something. I'm a little bit worried. I don't think any of these things gives me any path forwards. What do I do? Do I use some tarot cards on that locked door? I don't think that'll work. Shall I go back out to the room of death? See if something happens? Cutscene or something? Looks like they can't attack me when I'm, like, sort of falling over the edge. Oh yeah, we got our little crawling friend. I don't know what to do. I just run all the way back to the church and it looks like there's some paintings that I missed here. Number one, origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sadness that had overrun the earth, God was born from those two people. Oh, just an interesting note. Man offered a serpent to the sun. A woman offered a reed to the sun. One of the names for the God or, or something in, in one of the books that we read, I think, mentioned like uh, a god of, of serpents and reeds or something like that. Salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. Number four, creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, uh, Zuchilbara. The yellow god, Lopsil Vith. Many gods and angels. Finally, God set out to create paradise, where people would be happy just by being there. promise. But there God's strength ran out, and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved this unfortunate event, yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. Faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be opened. Is that the last one? I think so. Okay, I completely ran out of ideas, so I looked up a walkthrough. That's the second time for this game. It's another strike against you, Silent Hill 3. And it said something about there being an elevator. 
I think in this area, I think it might be this little square right here. Like, oh, I'm sorry that I missed the poorly signposted elevator in a room that has a very fast monster trying to chase me when I have literally no hit points and there hasn't been a single healing item in this entire level. Okay, wow, I can barely even see that. My god. Is that another one coming? Or just the one up above? I think it's just the one up above. Oh my god. This one's partially out of the bag. Doors open. Inside there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe... No, they're definitely dead. Nothing important here. I haven't looked too closely though. I don't think I want to. Corpse wrapped in some vinyl type bag. This crazy mixed up world has got me used to the strangest things. Easy for me to say, they're still totally disgusting. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy myself sooner or later. Might even already be crazy, who knows. Oh my god, that's a lot of shotgun ammo. That is a godsend. I still need health extremely badly, though. Honestly, I thought the end of the game was that fight with myself on the carousel. I'm actually surprised the game's going on this long. All these bodies on the floor wrapped in plastic. What a nightmare. I'm just glad they don't seem about to get up anytime soon. a murder scene? Is this... Is this our apartment? Is this the bed that Harry was laid out on? There's some flowers on the ground, too, and I know there were flowers on the body before. One of the books catches my eye. Wait, what did that say? Although the bookshelf and books are all the same as Dad's, yeah, this is our place. There's a musty diary on the bed. This writing. Is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that uh, that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Ooh, stun gun battery. Lots of stun gun batteries. 
How about a healing item, huh? At least these aren't as strong as the actual boss fight, damn. I guess they had to take away some of the ammo that they gave you. <laughs> Can't have you having too many resources. <laughs> 